Bombay, my first technical interview made me realize that programming is different than coding. This is a hot topic on subreddit form R program learning. One of our subscribers wanted our opinion on this one. For all the new viewers coming to this channel, we are software developers based in Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome to our channel. For all of my old buddies, hey you all. So now let's, let's jump, jump into, into the, the topic, topic guys. guys. The topic here is about how programming is different from coding. In order to do that, let's define the terms first. Coding in simple terms means writing a given logic into a language that machines can understand. It's like giving instructions to a machine. Whereas programming is specifically development of logic in order to find a solution through problem solving. Without the knowledge of programming, you will not be able to become a better coder. Because if anything is thrown at you out of the textbook, you will not be able to think and execute outside the box. Which is why you need to first focus on becoming a better programmer. Because if you become a better programmer, then automatically you can become a better coder. So now we will give you four tips for how to become a better programmer. Tip number one, think before you start coding. Most of the developers start writing the code even faster than they can understand the problem itself. You find yourself going back and forth, up and down your code when you do this which is not good. This happens because you haven't divided the problem into executable chunks and start tending to it one chunk at a time. So the first thing you need to do is start by drawing your flowchart diagram guys. Add in all of the small steps involved in solving your problem, which is why it's always important to have a piece of paper and pencil next to you. You can use graphs concept tables, images, whatever helps you to understand the problem easier. Make it fun and then start coding. This will make you a better programmer. Tip number two is to subscribe to our channel Straw Hat Engineers so we can help you in your software journey and make you a better programmer. Straw Hat Engineer family has grown 76 strong, very fast guys. Hit that subscribe button and get us to awesome 100. Now on to the next step. Tip number three is understanding the business behind every project. Understanding business is essential. Because when you program, you program to solve a business problem. That problem might be getting more customers for a business, or that problem might be making a payment process smoother for your current customers or any problem similar to these ones. By understanding the business logic and client expectations, a programmer will be able to see the big picture. And when you can see the big picture, you might be able to see some future problem that your boss or client can't even see. And that makes you very, very valuable for your company and for your clients and makes you a better programmer. The last tip, tip number four. Find someone with a completely different programming style and learn to see their point of view too. Being able to listen and follow somebody else who has a completely different programming style than you makes you a valuable team player and a dynamic program. This will help you to understand different ways to problem solve in a given situation and also help you become top 10% programmers. Some people like to use React as their framework and some love Angular. Now there is different framework for different kind of situations when you are in need of having more flexibility and getting things done faster you would want to use react whereas if you want a more structured framework then you would want to go with angular basically there is different programs and frameworks for different situations guys 
If you are a React front-end developer, try discussing with a Angular front-end developer and understand his perspective. Understand when and where Angular is more beneficial. That way, in the future, if you are given any problem, now you have the knowledge of improvising any framework you want, Angular or React, based upon situation, rather than being religious about a single framework. Guys, these are the top four tips to help you become a better programmer. And now it is shout out time. Shout out to Jay Green, Ashik Matthew, Clapper, and Ravi Dev. If you are new to our channel, guys, subscribe because your subscription will make our day. Until we see you next time, guys. Bye.